I come from a long line of nobility. Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lu Bu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Master Yuan Shao, you have my gratitude for graciously taking us in like this. Of course. Tell me, what is it that you want from me? Why are you here? I heard that a major battle was brewing between you and Yuan Shu. I want to be a part of it. I will help you! Hurry up and let me fight! How dare you speak to a nobleman like that? <clears throat> But, if that's the way you feel, then I will allow you to take care of the enemy I am currently dealing with. Whatever. All I want is a strong opponent to test myself against. It is time for us to eliminate the Paishan bandits! We will slay their leader, Zhang Yan, and bring judgment down upon those who would victimize the peasants of this land. My lord! Leave it to me! Huh. The Paishan are no match for us. Show them the way a nobleman will be fight!
is not in my nature to take orders from worthless peons. I will wreak havoc and show the world my might. Staying holed up in the main camp bores me. I'm heading for the front lines. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Hey! Get on in here! who resists us! Ah! We're being attacked by the Mount Kay bandits! Please, save us! our belongings safe from those bandits. Thank you. Please, take this. Infinite fools! You've saved our lives. Please, accept this token of gratitude. Go capture that area. We shall make it a thing of beauty. Thank you so much for your aid. This is a reward for you. All right, we've taken back the village. Push on to the enemy's main camp. I am a UN. Fury is inevitable. Impressive. I can't afford to let you leave me behind. <laughs> Report! Intruders are getting closer to the camp! Our forces are in danger! What's that? It's not just the Paishan? I don't care who it is! Get rid of them! Monster Lubu killed my grandfather. Where is he? It'll go a lot easier if you just tell me the truth. We shall break through the enemy's gates! Send in the battering rams! So you've come. You won't make it through this gate! That is Master Ji Ling, who serves beneath Yuan Shu. I see. This means that the Paishan have Master Yuan Shu's back. <laughs> Everyone, charge the enemy swiftly and without mercy! Alright, I need everyone. 
to defend this area. We've broken through the gates and dealt with the enemy army. Now we simply need to make our way to the Paishan's main base. I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Impressive. I can't afford to let you leave me behind. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. We can seize their bases to gain the momentum! Everyone, charge the enemy swiftly and without mercy! It's you, rabble! This is our territory! Time to prove that to you and Shao! Taking our territory. The bandits of the Pai Shan have been stopped for good. The glory and the fame of the UN clan grow greater with each success. You were truly magnificent, Master Lu Bu. Thanks to your efforts, the Pai Shan bandits have all surrendered unconditionally. That was barely enough to keep me warm. Find me someone stronger to fight. Lord Yuan Shao, this is our chance. We should use Master Lu Bu's strength to slay Gongshun San. No. Lu Bu, I hope this is the last time we work together. Your mindless aggression is inappropriate for the ally of a nobleman. I will give you a suitable reward, but then I would like you to leave. But my lord! Huh. Fine. Then I have no more use for you. Master Yuan Shao, I wish to thank you for your kindness. Now, we shall take our leave. Uh, uh, are you sure about this, my lord? I am! A nobleman must fight nobly. It is Yuan Shu, though, whose actions are truly unforgivable. He is a member of the noble Yuan clan, yet he cavorts with the likes of bandits. I bring news! Master Cao Cao has successfully subdued the Yellow Turbans in Qing province! But now, Yuan Shu is moving his troops north, and Master Cao Cao's forces are struggling to respond. Curse that Yuan Shu! He knew I was trapped between Zhang Yan and Gong Sun Zan, so he took this opportunity to move north. Yes, that seems to be his intention. He must think that Yan province must be ripe for the taking after having been under Master Cao Cao's control for so long. Hmm. Cao Cao is a cunning man, but up against Yuan Shu all alone, there is only so much he can do. Send him a messenger! Tell him we will help him fight Yuan Shu. We will show Yuan Shu the true meaning of nobility and send him fleeing from the Central Plains! <laughs> Yuan Shu has come here himself. It looks like he's quite serious. Please, my lord, I beg you to reconsider. It is too dangerous to turn your back on Gong Sun Zan and fight Yuan Shu. We have Cao Cao's help. What is there to fear? Still. All right then, how about this? Yan Yang, Wen Zhao. Qian Feng, 
I want you to take these two with you and go and protect the land of Yif. With your intelligence and the might of these two stalwarts of my army in place, Gong Sun Zan will think twice before attacking. If that is your wish, my lord. While I'm standing, Gong Sun Zan will not dare make a move. Lord Yuan Shao, you must promise that you will grant me the glory of leading your vanguard in the next battle. Please! Now, Zhang He, tell me what you are thinking. Yuan Shu's army is so focused on its offensive that it cannot see what is happening around it. We shall sever their supply lines and then join up with Master Cao Cao to launch a joint attack. Our victory is all but assured. <laughs> a brilliant plan. Most befitting our noble army. All forces! It is time for us to show the land which of us is more suited to leading the noble army of the Yuan clan. That Yuan Shu has never known his true place. Tao Tao, join forces with me and we will send him back to where he belongs. First ascertain the status of the battlefield. Cao Cao has been here for a while. I should ask him. Got it. So you're our lord's old friend. Don't worry, I'll drive off every last one of the enemy troops. Who are you? Zhao Zhao's bodyguard? Another uncouth looking brute? I certainly hope you will prove capable in battle. It's a shame I can't set any traps for the enemy. I at least would like to come up with a strategy or something. The nobility have no need of traps or plots. We face our foes with honor and dignity. I don't know much about the current situation, but you look absolutely amazing. Hmm. <laughs> what you see is the glory of the nobility. It is a great honor for you to be able to fight alongside me. Okay. We have received an update on the battle situation. The enemy's supply lines stretch all the way to Guangdu. Oh, what a rare treat it is to encounter one as polite and refined as yourself. The supply lines. If we can cut them, the enemy will be thrown into confusion. Huh? You want to know the current situation? Yuan Shu's vanguard is taking up position at Wu Chao. What a gruff and unrefined man. But regardless, we should start by taking down the enemy vanguard in Wu Chao. My lord could easily win this battle on his own. Feel free to sit back and relax at camp. Master Yuan Shao. Hmm. 
A true nobleman fights with honor and not deceit. He does not rest in the main camp and watch his allies fight for him. Yes. It seems that Yuan Shu is rapidly approaching Ding Tao. <laughs> For a relative of Cao Cao's, Zhao you seem like a man who understands the natural order of things. Ding Tao, perhaps that will be where this is settled. Yuan Chao's officer Sun Tzu is a capable fighter. He is much like his father, Sun Jian. Yes, a fine report. Quick and to the point. Sun Jian's son, well, he will be no match for me. Zhao Zhao, did you have to gather up every stray dog you could find? Well, so be it. I have ascertained the general state of affairs now. Yes. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. I won't be overcome by the likes of Yuan Chao or Cao Cao. You'll soon see how great I truly am. this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Chao, I will show you which of us is superior. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! Impossible. How could I lose? This has to be some sort of mistake. We managed to deal Yuan Shu a decisive blow. It will be some time before he sticks his head out again. <laughs> This is the glory of the noble army of the UN. Cao Cao, I am sure you felt it gave you extra strength. Most impressive, Master Yuan Shao. That is how a true leader should fight a battle. Yes, this ought to put Yuan Shu in his place for a while. Uh, I bring urgent news. Dong Sun San is advancing his forces towards Yi! You must return at once! Calm yourself, Wotu. 
Yan Liang and Wen Chao are in place in Ye. There are very few who can best them in battle. On top of that, the morale of our troops is at an all-time high. Gong Sun Zan will be easily dealt with. I am sure you heard that, Cao Cao. As you can see, I must be off. I will need Yuan Shao's strength to oppose Yuan Shu. However, if he manages to defeat Gong Sun Zun and unite Hebei, I must work quickly. Yan Niang, how fares the battle? The forces of Gong Sun Zan are fighting with surprising vigor, and our front lines are being pushed back. The Bai Ma cavalry is proving particularly troublesome. Gong Sun Zan's forces may reach Ye soon. Lord Yuan Shao, you must evacuate at once. Nope. What kind of commander would I be if I fled before the battle? It is most certainly not appropriate behavior for a nobleman such as myself. My lord, you show us all the way! It is when things look most grim that a chance often presents itself. We will use this opportunity to slay Gong Sun Zan and unite Hebei! Elite troops of the Yuan clan, we must defeat Gong Sun Zan and unite Hebei! Welcome, welcome! here are thin. Everybody, we need to protect this place with diligence. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Insolent fool! Impossible! When we are mounted, we should be invincible! Forces surpass even white riders in strength. 
Victory is inevitable. Amazing! You sure know how to fight! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Now, set up those horse barricades! Do to last Gong Sun Zan's horses! Let us go capture that area. We shall make it a thing of beauty. Into the pool! Shout. Please, hold back right now! I cannot! I will not run and hide. My ancestors would never forgive me. Take this! <laughs> Lord, you ain't shout! Whatever may come, I will fearlessly show myself boldly to all. That is my honor. That is my pride. Bold and glorious warriors, come with me and fight bravely! Barricades? Then we can't fight on horseback. Let us go capture that area. We shall make it a thing of beauty. The courage you display by standing your ground is worthy of praise. I will honor that courage by facing you in battle myself! A poor nobleman neither runs nor hides. I will fight like a man and send you to the afterlife! It would appear that I am no match. I had no idea the army of Yuan Shao was so mighty. <laughs> now do you see the true strength of the nobility? My power and prestige grow more impressive every day. This is bad. Master Zhao Yun! Master Zhao Yun has been defeated! The might of Yun Shao's army is beyond compare. Even Xiao Yun is no match. Yun Xiao's made it to our main camp already? Then, I must cut down his misplaced ambition with my own blade. I will be the one to claim Hebei. Prepare yourself for the inevitable, Gong Sun Zan! <laughs> I thought I would be the one to unite the bear. I cannot believe it'll be the Shao. Gong Suzan has fallen, and Hebei has been united under my banner. Raise a cry of victory, man! Our victory is magnificent in its splendor. Master Yuan Shao is destined to rule this land.
I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Congratulations, Lord Yuan Shao. Hebei belongs to you now, my lord. <laughs> Victory was a foregone conclusion with me at the head of our army. Pay heed, men. We have slain Gong Sun Zan, thereby removing the threat facing us. It is time for me to make my move to claim dominion over the land. Oh, dominion over the land. This land is vast, and there are many who have yet to surrender before my might. But there is no army which can match ours. My victory is only a matter of time. All we must do is continue moving forward! Advance, man! It is time for the noble Yuan Shao, ruler of Hebe, to unite this land and become conqueror of all we can see! We will follow you to the ends of the earth, my lord. I swear, I will not rest until this land is yours, Lord Yuan Shao. <laughs> <laughs>